and today I'm going to interview Dia. This is by the way the first time I've ever been interviewed by a 10 year old so this should be a very exciting and a fun interview. If you could go back to any class in school, uh, which one would it be and why? I think class 2. Because up until then I was an <coughs> introvert and I was very very shy. And my class 2 chief teacher actually, Namita Srivastava, I'll never forget her. She was responsible for, bring, for bringing me out of my shell. She encouraged me to write. She encouraged me to take part in school plays. And I think for the most part, if I had to look back at one thing that really changed my life, that defined who a lot of who I am even today, it would be my second grade teacher. You said you really like acting and you're still doing it. But um, do you remember any character that you played in, on, in a school play that you, you really had fun playing it all. And I remember in the fourth grade, we did this Hindi play, which was about a lady, a girl, that gets stuck underground. So she has this house where she's living underground, and she comes out of that 50 years later as an old woman, and how she discovers the world and for what it's become now and from what it was then. And I got to play this 60 year old woman. And I can't tell you how excited I was because for the first time in my school life I was given a role to play that was not pretty and that was not sweet and that was not perfect and I was getting to play this old lady with wrinkles and my hair was whitened and I got to like act old and I, I remember being really really excited about it. If, if there was an earthquake suddenly, yeah, there won't be but if there was and you and you had to run out of your building. Hmm. So you were, what was, which, which things, which possession would you, would you take along with you no matter what happened? Whether there was a fire or an earthquake or anything? I recently actually experienced something very scary. In my building there was a fire. Uh, it was about 11.30 at night. The circuit, like the, uh, the fuse box went on fire. And we suddenly smelt like this, there was this, this smo smoke that had enveloped the stairway and I could smell something burning and I was like what the hell is happening and I looked out the window and I saw these big flames kind of coming up from the, um, I live on the second floor, coming up from the room uh, downstairs. I ran in, I, we were at dinner, Sahil, Mama and me and I went, I first turned the fuse off so the, the electricity that you know, so the in the apartment. I got hold of my mom and said, I said, go down. And I got sued by an adult. Yeah. And that's all that mattered at that time. I didn't think about my mobile phone. I didn't think about my wallet. I didn't think about anything. All I thought of was, how can I get these three people, of course the pet and the parent and the, 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 the best friend down immediately before the fire went out of hand. When you were my age, when you were around 10, what did you want to become? What were your interests? I never thought as a child that I would grow up and participate in a beauty pageant and win it. I never thought that I would be an actor. But I loved acting. I loved, you know, I took part in all of my school plays and then I took part in all of my college plays and I really enjoyed it. I used to go to watch a film in the theatre, I would come back home and I would enact the scene in front of the mirror. Like I would play a Madhuri Dikshit or Kajol or whoever and do their lines in front of the mirror. But it was never a conscious thought that when I grew up I want to be an actor. Acting really was just coincidence. It's something that I happened to stumble upon. But what happened with that is that I quickly realized that when you're an actor, you get the opportunity to play various roles. Yeah. And in those roles, sometimes you get to play those people that you wanted to be in your life. And that's really fulfilling. <laughs> why, uh, why did you want to be a lawyer? Was that anything you, uh, was anything in particular that you liked about it? You know, there's no better way of knowing your constitution, no better way of knowing your country, no better way of actually doing something. If you Like, if you really want to go out there and make a difference to society, like, if you want to be socially active, and I'm not talking about partying and entertaining people, but actually making a difference, it's always good to know the law. 
if you if you could travel anywhere where to a place that you haven't been to, which place would that be? I would like to travel the length and breadth of our country. From the north to the south, from the east to the west by road. Because I think the best way to discover your your country, your people, your culture, your problems, your celebrations, your colour, your life is by travelling by road. This was good fun, Tara. Thank you for coming and doing this with me. I want to thank you for doing it. No, I had great time and I think um, I always say you are what you are because of who you're with and you brought out a lovely side of me. Thank you.